Welcome back, friends, for our last night of Bolt VBS. I've had such a great time with you these past two days. How many of you played the Soaked game yesterday? That was so much fun. Well, today is packed with another great lesson. Fun, games, activities, crafts, a snack, singing, and lots of fun. But before we get started, I have a question for you. Karen and Thomas are coming back to help us again today with VBS. I told them to be here in about two minutes. And I was wondering if it would be okay with you guys if I pulled just a little prank on them. What do you think? Is that okay with you? It is? Great. Kellen, did I hear you say you want to see Karen and Thomas jump like a kangaroo? I think you read my mind. I'll be right back. Boo, kangaroo! Spencer, um, where is he? Uh, I guess we're early? No, uh, that is impossible. We are always late. I have no clue. Um, so, um, what's been your favorite part of VBS so far? That's a hard question to answer. I mean, it's been so fun playing games. Yeah, I love games. But I've also enjoyed the crafts and activities we do each day. Oh, and the singing has been great. The kids helping us lead songs and Elizabeth teaching us our theme song. It's so hard to pick one. What about you? I've really enjoyed the Bible lessons. It's just what I needed. A lesson to remind me of, uh, to listen to Jesus. A lesson about focusing on Jesus. I wonder what we will learn about tonight. I agree. The Bible lessons have been great. I'm so glad we've been able to have a virtual VBS this year so all our friends could have fun while learning about Jesus. Me too. Seeing all the pictures and videos of the families participating in VBS at home has made my day. Yes, and how about playing bingo? I already got a bingo. How about you? Yeah, me too. I'm working on a blackout today. Me too! I cannot wait to hear oh, or see the pictures and videos the kids post today. I think I've heard Spencer say that today's pictures and videos will go in the comments under the image label Day three, let us see. Good to know. I'll be sure to check that out later tonight. Me too. Spencer's taking a long time. Gosh, I wonder what he's doing. I don't know, but I think VBS is about to start. I hope he shows up. Wait, like, are we about to go live? Oh no, do you know what we're supposed to do? No, but I usually don't. How about you? No, Spencer always tells us what to do and helps guide us. Wow, you saying that makes me thankful we have Spencer as our youth minister. He's constantly guiding us and teaching us. He helps us learn more about Jesus and how to follow Jesus. Yes, we are pretty lucky. Okay, I'm starting to get a little nervous. Without Spencer guiding us and helping us, I don't know what we should do about VBS. Well, let's think about what he's taught us these past two days. We'll talk to the kids, we sing some songs, we talk about the lesson topic. Yeah, and Spencer jumps like a kangaroo. Haha, <laughs> he does. <laughs> he's been so easy to scare. I wonder why he's so jumpy. I don't know, but it is sure been funny. If we were live, I would ask the kids if what if they thought it was funny. Oh, I know Owen was laughing for sure. Boo! Oh! Ha <laughs> ha! Hello, my kangaroos! Man, you got us good, Spencer. You sure did. I know that the ping pong ball felt like it on your chest. <laughs> oh, well, we did it, friends. Camden, did you see how high Karen and Thomas jumped? Why are you talking to the camera? Because it's VBS time. We're here with all of our friends for our last night of lessons, games, crafts, activities, and songs. So it's been recording this whole time? Yep. That's embarrassing. Again. Actually, I think the conversation you guys had about following my instructions and example ties great into our lesson today. It does? Yeah, we've talked about listening to Jesus and focusing on Jesus, and tonight we will talk about following Jesus, just like the disciples followed Jesus. You were teaching our friends, and you didn't even know it. Oh, awesome. Yeah, speaking of the following the example of others, 
Have you seen how well our friends have done doing the learning, learning our theme song? Yes, I have. Reagan and all the other kids have done a great job singing how Jesus is our best friend, our nightlight, and our rock. They sure have. I'm ready to sing it. How about you guys? Emberly, take it away, Elizabeth. <laughs> all right, guys. We're going to sing again. You all know this tune. You've been doing this tune for three days now. I think it's catchy too. I think it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So here we go, guys. We're going to sing. <laughs> all right. My, my best friend. Jesus is my best friend. Jesus is my best friend. And I am not alone. No, I am not alone. My best friend. Jesus is my best friend. Jesus is my best friend, and I am not alone. My nightlight, Jesus is my nightlight. Jesus is my nightlight, and I am not alone. No, I am not alone. My nightlight, Jesus is my nightlight. Jesus is my nightlight, and I am not alone. He's my rock. Jesus is my rock. Jesus is my rock, and I am not alone. No, I am not alone. My rock. Jesus is my rock, Jesus is my rock, and I am not alone. My best friend, Jesus is my best friend, Jesus is my best friend, and I am not alone. No, I am not alone. My best friend, Jesus is my best friend, Jesus is my best friend, and I am not alone. My nightlight, Jesus is my nightlight. Jesus is my nightlight, and I am not alone, no, I am not alone, my nightlight. Jesus is my nightlight, Jesus is my nightlight, and I am not alone. He's my rock, Jesus is my rock, Jesus is my rock, and I am not alone, no, I am not alone, my rock. Jesus is my rock, Jesus is my rock, and I am not alone. Thanks for singing with us. I hope y'all enjoyed it. See ya. Bye. Bye-bye. Man, what a great song to remind us how loving Jesus is, like our best friend, how he guides us with a nightlight, and how strong he is like a rock. He's great to listen to, to focus, and to follow. Let's sing another song. Now, you guys know this one. We sing it just about every year. And we are going to sing the Fruit of the Spirit song. So what's going to happen is our first time through, Thomas is going to shout out our fruit. And the second time through, Karen's going to shout out a fruit. But then on our third time through, I just want all of you guys to pick your own fruit at home and sing along with us. Sound good? All right, guys. Are you all ready, Karen and Thomas? Yeah. yeah. All right. Here we go. All right. Thomas, be ready to yell out your fruit this time, okay? Yes, sir. All right. The fruit of the Spirit's not a grape. Grape. The fruit of the Spirit's not a grape. If you want to be a grape, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit, because the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. The fruit of the Spirit's not a Banana! The fruit of the Spirit's not a banana. banana. If you want to be a banana, banana you, you might as well be hear it. You, you can't, can't be a fruit of the Spirit, because the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Now be ready at home. This is where you shout your own. The fruit of the Spirit's not an apple! The fruit of the Spirit's not an apple. If you want to be an apple, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit, because the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Wow, great job, guys. You know what? We haven't sung Jesus Loves Me yet. That is a great song for BBS. Yes, it is. You know who loves singing that song? Who? Landry and Harley. You know what that means? They should help us sing the song. Absolutely. Take it away, Landry and Harley. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to Strong. Yay!
Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Thanks for your help, guys. Great job. It's time, friends. Time to start our lesson, crafts, games, activities for our last night of Bolt VBS. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Are you ready, friends? Then let's bolt! Hey everybody, my name is Casey Jordan and I am so glad you're joining me for the final day of Bolt VBS. So far, we've had some cup grabbing, sponge soaking fun, but today's game might just be the wackiest of them all. Today, we're gonna be catching fish, but instead of using a fishing pole, you'll be using your face. Before we get started though, I have a little challenge for you. It's called the shell game. In just a second, you're going to see three cups. One of the cups will have a ball underneath it. Follow that cup as closely as you can. When you see the cup stop moving, see if you can guess which cup has the ball underneath. Are you ready? Follow the cup with the ball closely. Did you get it right? That was pretty tough. In order to win that challenge, you had to follow the cup closely. Today, we're gonna to be talking about what it would be like if we followed Jesus that closely. And the best part about Jesus is that he's not zipping around trying to lose you like that cup did. With that said, I think we should get started with our first game. So come on, let's bolt. Welcome everybody to BSTN, Bolt Sports Television Network. My name is David Rausch and this is my co-anchor, Tim the T-Rex Woodrum. Tim, why do they call you T-Rex? Well, David, once again, they don't. But wait, actually I kind of like that name. They call me T-Rex because of my fierce personality. Or is it because of my short arms? And another big welcome to our viewers at home. Thank you for joining us for today's broadcast of Fishy Face, the sport that has struck the world. It sure has, David. Fishy Face is a sport of precision striking. So to help us understand what it takes to become a champion at this sport, I reached out for an exclusive interview with the king of precision striking, a cobra. You mean his nickname is Cobra? That's awesome. No, David, I mean he is a cobra. His name is Gary. Come on, Tim, we're not doing this again. You're just gonna play some ridiculous video of a snake and pretend like it's talking to you. Video? No, Gary is actually right here. Wait, you mean you're going to do an in-person interview with a poisonous cobra? Well, David, it won't be an in-person interview because Gary isn't a person. <laughs> I guess it'll be an in-snake interview. This is normally Gary's nap time. I think he's a little more cranky than usual. Ah! All right, athletes, you all know how this game works. One person from each team is going to put whip topping on their face. The other members of the team are gonna race back and forth collecting one goldfish cracker at a time and running back and attaching it to the face of their teammate. The team that has the most goldfish attached at the end of one minute wins. Do you understand the rules? Yes, ma'am! Perfect. Athletes, let's get in position. Ready, set, go! Yes, Aaron, you got it, you got it. Let's go. There you go. Go, 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 come on. Woo. Nice, 
nice. Go! Nice! behind. Ooh, good strategy, good strategy. Fill up one cheek first. Now the next cheek. There you go. Another solid. Oh, <laughs> Good shot, good shot. Good, good, good. Mm. All right, team's time is up. Let's start counting. Team one, one, two, nine, ten, and eleven. Woo! All right, team I two. Dropped three. You dropped three. All right, one, two, sixteen. 17, and the winning team is Team 2! Yes! Congratulations, Team 2! Well done, well done. That was truly a battle of champions. And now, for those of you watching at home, it's your turn to play. That's right, Tim. When I say so, press pause on the video. Then play as many rounds of Fishy Face as you would like. But when you're finished, don't rest just yet, because there are even more games for you to play. When all of the games are finished, grab a snack, open your Bibles to the verses on the screen, and read them together. After that, press play again and join us in progress. Are you ready? It's time to bolt in three, two, one, press pause. Oh, hey, good to see you again. I see you shaved your fish beard. Was that an accident or did you do that on purpose? Anyway, I hope your fishy face game was better than my joke. And I hope you caught a lot of fish too. That actually reminds me of today's Bible story. In today's true story, there's some guys who caught a ton of fish, but I don't think they used their face. In the Bible, in Luke 5, Jesus got into a boat with a man named Simon, who was also called Peter. Jesus said to Peter, go out into the deep water, then let your nets down so you can catch some fish. Peter wasn't so sure though. He said, we've been fishing there all night and haven't caught a thing. But if you say so, Jesus, I'll do it. So he did. Peter rowed his boat further out and then threw his nets into the water. And when he began to pull them back into the boat, they were full of fish. Not just a few fish, not just enough fish to cover your face. There were actually so many fish that the nets started breaking. Peter had to think fast. So he called out to his friends, James and John, who were in another boat. Together, the three of them pulled in enough fish to fill both boats. In fact, the boats were both so full of fish that they started to sink. It was a miracle. Everyone was amazed at the number of fish they'd caught. Peter knew right then that Jesus was no ordinary man. So he fell down at Jesus' knees and said, Lord, I am not even worthy to be around you. I'm a sinful man. Jesus said to Peter, come on, Follow me, and I will make you a fisher of men. So right then and there, Peter, James, and John left their boats and their nets and the lives they had always known, and they followed Jesus wherever he went. They were the first disciples that Jesus would ever have, but not the last. Later, Jesus had dinner with a tax collector named Matthew. Tax collectors, blah! Nobody liked them. A lot of them would steal people's money. So when the Pharisees saw who Jesus was hanging out with, they were like, why are you eating and drinking with people like Matthew? But Jesus didn't care what they thought. He wasn't looking for the most popular people. So he said to Matthew, follow me. And just like Peter and his friends, Matthew left everything behind and followed Jesus.
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we're down to the grand finale. Welcome to the BSTN coverage of professional indoor origami. Today is the third and final day of origami action. Tim, does it get any better than this? It sure doesn't, David, and I say that as an expert in the industry. I actually used to make a living off of this until my origami business folded. But that's okay, it required too much paperwork anyway. Riveting stuff as always, Tim. So it comes down to this, folks. This moment has the level of intensity that the Super Bowl, World Series, and Stanley Cup can only dream of. Our origami athlete is going to attempt to create a paper heart out of a single piece of square paper. Now, viewers at home, remember that you too can participate in the origami action. For today's event, you'll need a square piece of paper. It can be any color, including white. That's right, David, viewers at home, see if you can keep up with today's athletes. But if at any time you need to pause or rewind the video, including right now, don't hesitate to do so. Well, Tim, one last time, it looks like the action is about to begin. Let's go courtside to see the origami action unfold. Today we are joining origami superstar Hans Handerson for one last performance. David, there's something I've wanted to tell you for a while, but it's just difficult for me to say. Go ahead, Tim. This is a safe place. Okay, here it is. Hans Henderson has some of the most handsome hands on this side of Hanover. Wow, Tim, you're right. That was difficult to say. Hans folds the paper corner to corner to form a triangle. Then he opens it back up to reveal a center line. Now he folds the paper corner to corner in the other direction. And he flattens that edge down nicely. Popcorn! Peanuts! Unfolds it again to reveal a cross pattern. Corner to midpoint. Classic move! You can tell he really knows what he's doing. Something I can rarely ever relate to. I have no comment. Interesting approach as he now prepares to execute a fold across the other way. And he sticks the landing! A perfect 10! <laughs> you know, David, why does 10 think it's so perfect? 11 is better than 10. Those are some deep thoughts, Tim. Hans folds the bottom corner to the top middle of the paper. And he smooths that edge down nicely. He grabs the other corner and does the same thing. And the heart seems to be taking shape now. Get your hot dogs! Get your corn dogs! Oh, look at that! As he flips it over, it almost resembles a fox head. What does the fox say? Am I right, kids? Let's not bring that back, Tim. Very interesting tactics as he folds the top two corners down. Then he turns the paper. He folds one more corner down. He turns it again. And he folds the last corner down. I don't know about you, but I am giddy with anticipation. And would you look at that! Hans Handerson has pulled off a perfectly sculpted heart. I think I speak for all of us when I say, I heart Hans Handerson. Don't we all, Tim? Don't we all? And there you have it, folks. Thank you for joining us for the season finale of Professional Indoor Origami. And for one last time, Tim and I would like to say to the viewers at home, happy folding, friends. Were any of you surprised by who Jesus picked to be his disciples? Jesus could have chosen anyone he wanted, the smartest, the richest, or the most popular. Instead, he chose ordinary people to follow him. Did you know that Jesus is still asking people to follow him? 
And guess what? He wants you. It's true. Jesus wants you to follow him. He doesn't care that you're not the tallest kid around or the smartest kid or, or the most popular kid. He doesn't even care that you're not perfect. Do you know what Jesus cares about? He cares about your heart. Jesus is looking for people who love him and want to make him the most important thing in their life. Jesus loves you so much. In fact, his love for you is so great that he died on a cross for your sins. He gave up his life on earth so that you could have life with him forever in heaven. And when you say yes to following Jesus, nothing can ever separate you from his love. That actually reminds me of our Bible verse for today. Say this with me. Nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8, 39. Nice job. Let's do it again, but this time some of the words are going to disappear. Say it with me again. Nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8, 39. That was really good. Let's do it again, but this time even more words are going to disappear and you're going to say it without me. Are you ready? Go ahead and say it. It's getting a bit harder, isn't it? Do it again now with even fewer words. All right, let's do it one more time, but this time all of the words are going to disappear. Are you ready? Give it a try. Great job on the memory verse, boys and girls. They're getting a lot longer and you did great. Our family question tonight is, what can you do this week to bolt into action for Christ? I'm gonna ask you one more time and then I want you to hit pause and discuss together as a family. What can you do this week to bolt into action for Christ? Hit pause now. Man, guys, I really hope you all enjoyed tonight's lesson. And honestly, I hope you've just really enjoyed our VBS so far. It's sad that it's over, but it's been a great three days. Learning how to listen and to follow and to focus on, on Jesus. Man, those are great lessons we all need to learn. So again, thanks again for joining us for Bolt, Bolt VBS. And have a great evening. And remember to bolt into action for Jesus. Good try, guys. Bye. VBS was a blast. Now it's our turn to bolt into action for Christ. Let's bolt.